The Memorex Show with Golden Age Productions. Hello. <laughs> hey. Hello. <laughs> yeah. This is episode four. Of the Memorex Show. With me, Tristan. Me, George. And me, Dick Riggy. Dick. <laughs> Ricky Dick. Dick. Ricky Dick. Uh, yeah, we've had, we've had a few emails in about our show. But you know, we occasionally read the first one. Oh, then. Just, no, we're not. Yeah. Australia, mate. Yeah, that's a good impression. Who <laughs> was? He sent us a list. Of... Good eye, mate. Okay, right, I, I'll read some facts out. Okay. The lion costume on no, the. No, let's just start with the most important fact. I gotta go, guys. I gotta go meet my mother for shopping. Yeah, that is right. uh, <laughs> a very interesting uh, fact. Uh, yeah, it's very, it's very. No, okay, that's what it says. <laughs> okay, yeah, the lion. Uh, the lion costume in, in the, the Wizard film, of Oz. The Wizard of Oz was made from real lions. Incest but, is not illegal in France, the Netherlands, Luxembourg, Belgium, or Portugal. Are we just gonna like discuss, we'll, them, we'll discuss yeah, them? Yeah, discuss them. Yeah, yeah. But just say them first. Discuss them. Okay. Okay. I'll, okay. Uh, yeah, about the incense is not illegal in France, but advertising alcohol is. Wine. Wine. Mm. On French TV. Mm-hmm. It's illegal to introduce beavers to the wild. Of course. Chimpanzees make their own spears for hunting. Peter Haynes, now he's that politician, isn't he? I have no idea. Peter Haynes yeah. is a British politician, I think, or South African or one of them. He's someone of importance. Someone well, he, he lives in Wales, and his uh, house in Wales has a dance floor. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Astronauts wear nappies during launch and re-entry because they can't stop what they're doing to have a shit. <laughs> or to urinate. Duh. Guinness turns out red rather than black if the barley is roasted for less time than normal. The term Miss Fiance. Get glasses, Tristan. The term Miss Fi. What's that? Miss Fiance. <laughs> Miss Fiance, yes. Yeah, the term Miss Fiance means to carry out a legal act illegally. That's a legal act. Right. Illegally. I've legally parked my car illegally. So, right, so that's interesting. Hold on, that makes no one. sense, does it? No. Would you like to read out the last one? I don't think the last one makes sense, but read it About out. About 40% of mango trees Slowly. planted to offset the carbon emissions from Coldplay's A Rush of Blood to the Head album have died, which releases carbon into the atmosphere. Ha <laughs> ha. Chris Martin is a twat. <laughs> well, okay, so let's... Ha ha. So is Richard. Aha, uh -huh. I agree. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but on, the, on the first fact about the li the lion costume in the Wizard of Oz was made from real lions. Now they say lions, plural. How big was that bloke to have more than one lion killed for well, a costume? They didn't say full size lions, could be little baby ones or something, couldn't they? Well, just kill a big lion and Maybe they didn't have a big it. lion, they had only little lions. But even a big lion, you probably can use all of the... No, it'd be too big. You'd have to, like, nip and tuck. <laughs> Just give this lion a new kind of butt. <laughs> and, uh, Buttons. Nip the breasts up a bit. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. I mean, nowadays Basically. that would not happen, would it? No, Killing yeah, animals. Everyone would go, Oh, you killed the animal, you bastard. No I was watching the film Castaway the other day. Have you seen that? No. no. Tom Hanks? Oh, on an island where he's really good, yeah. ice skates in his mouth. Yeah. Oh, that what? was but, And you see, it's a scene where he gets a fish. I'm oh, sorry, what's the name of that ball? It's ball. Wilson. Wilson. <laughs> but there's it, a bit, no, not a fish, it's like a crab. And he, he pierces a crab with a stick and eats it. I want, and the crab look real. Now, I, it can't be, surely, because of how animal rights and... Depends where they filmed it, to be honest. Just like in the Caribbean. Probably it's France, they fucked up. <laughs> France, your mother's dying, oh, let's have her for lunch. Yeah, but yeah, the fr yeah, but okay, and on to the thing incest is not illegal in France, Netherlands, Luxembourg, Belgium, Portugal. Whatever. Explains a lot. Incense, <laughs> now incense is sleeping with. Incest, not incense. Incense is kind of a <laughs> smelly stuff, like, you know, yeah, like, like, the why is men? Yeah. Oh, Jesus, in there, kind of. What, no, what, what are incense? Incense is. Oh, I can't sleeping remember. With your family. What? Incense, not incest. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of Can we just stuff. explain that to him? Yeah, they're interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's complicated. <laughs> Incest and sense. Sense. Incense, that's the smelly things, isn't it? And incest. That's sleeping with your parents. Yes. Or any member of your family. Yeah. <laughs> not just your parents. <laughs> it, isn't it all also legal in like. 
Hill Billy Land. Shut up. Well, it's not legal. Just, just do it anyway. Yeah, okay. I think in Britain, it's legal to marry, I think it's your second cousin. So not they. Or your second cousin's oh, no, like father. Apparently, like, who is it? One of the royal family has been like, I think it's second like the second cousin's father Tom would be your cousin, wouldn't it? Tara Parra Tom Pinson. Yes. She, her family are inbred along the line. So yeah. Also explains yeah. a lot. It does, actually. She's a mental case. Anyway, uh, advertising wine on French TV is banned. That, that obviously links with the incest is legal, but advertising wine is not. But, okay, yeah. I don't understand sure. that. Do, but you know, the, the French, they advertise cigarettes, probably. Yeah, they say, don't advertise wine, but sleep with your mother. You know, hmm. yeah, it's strange. It's... Why would they advertise I... wine in France? All they do is drink wine over there. It's like, yeah, I mean, they invented it. It's like, we invented wine, but don't you dare advertise it on TV, mate. Kick Why can't you advertise wine? Probably because everyone knows it exists. Yeah. You don't need. It's not illegal. <laughs> just, they just don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Just waste of advertising money. Um, chimpanzees make. You've skipped one. It's illegal to introduce beavers into the wild. Oh, yes. okay. glasses, Tristan. Again. I um. Tristan I think needs he's glasses. Well, we're not gonna cut this bit out. Oh. No, we're we're no. No, I actually went to the thing not long ago. I, I got. I got. That. Almost 20-20 vision. How many vision. things have I that? Five. I've almost got 20-20 vision, apparently. Good, you didn't see that coming. Ah, <laughs> like you said. You didn't like oh, I did, I did. <laughs> Stop <laughs> fighting, you two. What are you doing, Rich? No, not like that, you penis face. <laughs> yes, <laughs> one interesting did just call Richard a penis face. And yes, it is true. Same as usual. You... Richard, oh, I've uh, never said that before. Stop talking I've never morally. needed to. Richard, Richard, I'm sat there, and the farm right in is that pink. <laughs> you you can obviously see. Take your time, it's not like we're doing anything. Uh, Chimpanzees, oh no. No, it's the beavers. Use beavers. What? So I'm guessing it's what? because they would made what? so many what? dams and stuff. Illegal to introduce beavers into the wild, Tristan. Well, why can't it turned out? I mean, who would have it as a pet anyway? <laughs> True. Well, it's not just people who have pets that introduce them to the wild. It's like you know, wildlife. Farmers. It's like it's like, it's like saying, I mean, I it's books. saying, well, it's saying, don't introduce crocodiles into the wild. Why not? They're only gonna bite your leg off. I mean, but I'm guessing beavers, you know, because they build dams and stuff. You know, we build dams. <laughs> we're not banned from being introduced yeah, to the wild. Yeah, but we're smart enough to know if we need dams. Oh yeah, smart enough to know you. Let's see, war in Iraq. Yeah. Okay, John, don't get started. Right. We have a tower that leans into the east, and they build straight there. Chim chimpanzees make their own spears for hunting. We do. Good Why don't they? Well, I mean, we are evolved from monkeys. We're kind of cousins, kind of whatever. thing, isn't that? Well, maybe your cousin looked like that. <laughs> no, no, like, 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 species-wise, not you species-wise, like species like not family. Monkey. Yeah, I've been called many times. I look like a monkey. Shut the moon ass. The moon facing. Right, but they make their own little spears. Now, Aww. out of what? Like they little, make it sound so cute. Well, like a little, like a little bit of wood and, yeah, and no, no, twig. Being cute. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. Um, <laughs> Give us a spear, mate. Uh, Twenty-nine pounds, uh, sir. I'm not a sir. I'm a boon. We, we can go to this Peter Haynes one about he's got. A, he's a politician. He has a dance floor in his house. Everybody dance now. I don't. That's a pointless do, fact. Do, do, miss, do, miss, do, get rid of that. Do. All right. As for those with nappies during launch, because they can't start what they're doing if they need to uh, have a wee urinate and shit. We're hurtling towards the earth at 600 miles an hour. Hold on, need a shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I thought they wear nappies anyway because there's no toilets. Well, they just got bowel problems, that's the real reason. I wonder <laughs> if when they, if no, they, they do they shit. They do have a toilet. You know, like they have a nappy, do you reckon, and if no things. gravity, do you reckon it slowly <laughs> seeps up? <laughs> and it's in there, you see little follicles around her face. A floater in just the helmet. Just having a pee in the thing. The pee is heading to my face. Or whichever way you put it in the penis. Yes. But like, uh, did they have like nappies? Did they have toilets on the shuttle? Yes. You go in there, apparently, I don't know how true this is. You have a shit or a piss, you press the airlock button, it sends it out into space. Does it? Yeah. Press an alien on a planet a couple hundred miles away, you're sitting there one day. Poof! <laughs> ah! Oh! Shit! Oh, that that doesn't oh. surprise me because they, they don't they want do to go. They do flesh into space, I think. What happens if they head towards Earth? <laughs> no, because this is a true fact now. If you launch a paper airplane into space and it goes around the Earth, it'll get up enough speed to go straight through a building. 
you know, big humongous like the World Trade Center, you go through that and, and blow it up. No, no, not blow it up. Not the same extent as like the Explode. But it would go through and damage the building. That's, that's what how fast happened. And how much force would be behind people going around the world? Well, that's not true because as it's it would build up in space. Yeah, it, it, I was saying that's how much force it would have. So much it's <coughs> coming through the atmosphere. Well, that burn up. <laughs> yeah, it didn't burn in shit. What's the thing? <laughs> Justin's gonna come up with a conspiracy theory now about. You know, the World Trade Center. It was just a paper airplane. It wasn't a (laughs) yacht of summer. Bush just sent a plane into space and it came round and down and caused a big accident. Anyway, next. Guinness turns out red rather than black if you roasted it for less time than normal. Well, that must be lucky. I mean, Guinness is like... It's almost... It's trademark, isn't it? But it's... it's, You'll see a pint of black. Quit, I couldn't you? Have a Guinness. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> What's that shit? Why is it red? It's a bloody mirror, you know. Like, <laughs> you think, I mean, that's an, imagine that, that's like life change. Imagine little <laughs> Arthur Guinness, right? Pop. Arthur Guinness. No, not 20 minutes. Cook it less. Uh, oh, it's red! Imagine Guinness well, being I red. If he cook, if he started out as it being red, that would what, that'd be his trademark, wouldn't it? Be, give us a red. Yeah, and then if that was it, the fact would be Guinness turns out black. If you cook it Rather too than long. red, if you cook it too long, yeah. Anyway, Next. the term Miss Fiancé, whatever it's called. Miss Fiancé means it's illegal to carry it's legal. Miss Fiancé. Miss Fiancé. Miss Fiancé means, means to carry out a legal act illegally. How does that work? Um, I'm going to leave let's, it. let's think of a legal act. Right, I'm listen. Taking a leak in your toilet. No. Flashing. And you do that. No. Yeah, but that's illegal. I'm going to park my car here legally. Illegally, I'm going to park my car it's, here, it, it which is around. legal, but it's I stolen, do. so it's illegal. Yeah, that's it. So park my car. No, I, I think Richard had. I think he hit the nail on the head there. Yeah. What he said. Yeah. So next, about forty. Oh, forget that. That shit. Right, last. So. Uh... So let's go to the next email, Mr. Sharp. Hmm. The next email. The next email. Well done. You changed the. Something about <laughs> uniform. <laughs> Uh, school don't, uniform. Don't go on about that. Why? That's oh, a good point. School uniform. Mm. We used to have a nice white shirt, white shirt with his tie. tie and... wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Now we've got these crappy polo shirts with St. Julian's The Route to Success. It ain't The Route to Success, it's crap. It's a route to shit. It's a good school, but it ain't that good. Junior school are getting rid of the uniforms now, aren't they? I've noticed people like polo shirts there as well as a shirt and tie still. Oh, yeah. That's weird, isn't it? Lazy bastards. Just to get a shirt and tie on. I don't see why you can't wear a shirt and tie. That's so much nicer. Yeah. What are your views? Send us an email at what's the address? Uh, Memorek, yeah. Oh, Same by the way. Or not. Oh, no. yeah, you haven't mentioned yeah, that yet. Yeah, <laughs> on the previous episodes, it's, it's been memorex.gagoogamer.com. But we've got a new email address. It's memorex at knit1.com. I said memorex at N I T W O M. N N N, not M, he said M. Knit one.com. Think Mem- of knits. Yeah, it, it'd be on the side, <laughs> just goldenacre.moonfruit.com, lovely jolly. <laughs> so, Del Boy. But yeah, um, talking of uh, Guinness, St. Patrick. What about him? We, we passed Guinness, just. Well, no, but in the email, it mentions. In, the, in, this email, in this email, it mentions St. Patrick because he, he was Welsh. Oh, yeah. St. Yeah. Patrick was a Welsh man. Oh, but he's the, he's the uh, Irish yeah. patron saint. And you think, why do Americans. I know that Americans celebrate it loans, don't they? I know there's a lot of Irish immigrants in yeah, America. For the Irish, isn't the it? Potato famine or whatever, but. Yeah, like it's just an excuse to drink till you bleed. Really, isn't that? Yeah, well, that's the Irish for you. No, but, uh, you know, I don't see, there's just so many people. Oh, like, there's so many people hating me after this, aren't there? The Irish, the French, the Americans. Yeah, well, well everybody hates me. But John, most them. people are like you, really. Yeah. Me, I'm just more... They just more, don't have the I'm just set. more... What's the word? Passive. Withdrawn. No. No. Thoughtful of uh, other people's feelings. Yeah. Passive. Which Passive. I couldn't give a shit Richard, shut then. up, you. Change it on. Bastard. Richard, mind your language, I'll give you a Sorry. bloody good fucking slap. Go <laughs> <laughs> down, Richard. Uh, what about this here? Oh, oh no, no, sorry, no. Research yeah. shows that drinking coffee in the morning leaves you no more awake or alert than someone who hasn't drunk any of the devil's water in. Well, why do you want to drink devil's water? Just have a cup of coffee. That means coffee, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Well, a cup of tea is supposed to be healthy for you, you know. Apparently, yeah, tea's it's good for your heart. It's good for... I'm glad I have about eight cups a day then. 
Hey, well, that's bad because you're just sugar. I don't have sugar in my tea. Well, well that's quite good then. Eight cups of tea. I mean, it's nice, isn't it? Cups of tea. No, it's, didn't it do something to do with? Um, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. It's not not AIDS. No. Um, oh. Cancer. What is yeah. it with you and AIDS? Yeah, mm -hmm. cancer. What is it with him and AIDS? <laughs> yeah. We invented AIDS. No, no it helps prevent cancer, and reduces your chances. Well, yeah. So why isn't everyone yeah. drinking it all the time? Because it's not. Why do you say exactly why do people still smoke? Proven. It causes cancer, lung disease, shit like that. Why do people it's not drink exactly it? Kills your brain. Totally, is it? Yeah, it is apparently. I don't oh. know. Throw down. Richard. They are reopening the Newport. Oh, forget that. Forget all that crap. Okay. They're reopening what, Richard? Just forget about that. What are they opening? I want to know. I'll cut this bit. <laughs> See, I can't They're find opening, it there. reopening the Newport to Abervale Vale link. See, that's pointless. It just allows me to go just, just as no though problems. from Abervale to Newport is the best. It's just you, we should do a quote of the day or week thing. I know a quote, I can't remember who it's off, but it's quite good. One. Heroes aren't fearless, they just do what they have to do in spite of fear. Who said that? No idea. He heroes, I think it's some president or some bloke. Heroes aren't fearless, they just do what, what they have to do in spite, in spite of fear. fear. Another good See, one. Well, it'd be better if you just say, heroes, right? They're full of shit, they just do it because they have to. Well, no. they, do they have to. They do, they do what they're afraid of. <laughs> they do what they're Doesn't afraid of, Richard Sharp. <laughs> 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 they do what they're afraid of. Doesn't mean that they're not afraid of it. They still just still manage to do it. Well, it's like uh, firefighters. They probably don't want to run into a building, burning building and save a child, do they? But they do it and they find shit in bricks. If, I mean, where does that, so, where does that expression come from? Shit in bricks. Has someone actually done that? Definitely <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> shit and bricks. <laughs> What's that? I don't, I don't understand it. Shit and bricks. Doesn't make sense. To me. Loads of funny things don't make sense. What, what's the one about the kettle being black? What? Talk of the pot calling the kettle black. Which is kettle. What, what's saying again? What? Talk of the pot calling the kettle black. Doesn't make sense. Okay. Can't say black anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Racist. <laughs> Talk, Richard. You know lots of old sort of old mothers sort of. That's what it is. Now they called old mother sort of quotes, old mother's tales. Old whatever. mother's tales, but that's a different yeah. subject. Yeah. You, you know love to like funny sayings. Isn't like that old wives' like, tales and old mothers? Old mo wives, Go on, yeah. Tell some more funny. I can't think of it. Yeah, you My mind's just... gone blank. Well, it's blank anyway, but. <laughs> yeah. It's a blank canvas. What are we going to talk about? Kebab. A certain. Was that kebab? Kanye West. While you're doing that, I'll think of a couple of things. That. Kanye West, he's an American sort of hip hop artist, mm -hmm. isn't he? He ordered um, a curry. Was it a curry? A, a banquet, yeah, a curry <laughs> from I think it's um, the British Raj in Newport, South Wales, to be flown over by helicopter with a chef or whatever. I don't know something like that. Cost him two thousand mm. pounds. Like I said, no, would it be quicker to pop into local KFC or something? Yeah, but you're sitting there like six o'clock. Oh, I'm starving. I don't think they have many Indian well, no, restaurants. But, 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 oh, I'm starving. Now. Do with curry. Oi! Pop off to Newport now, Wales! <laughs> yeah! It's a bit random. To be honest, it's been talked about to loads, and I think the story's got out of hand, and I don't want to talk about it. Hmm. Because it's pointless. I mean, he ordered a curry for £2,000, he got a flown over. That's just how. I mean, to be honest, I think he. I think he got it quite cheap, because a lot of curries are overpriced. <laughs> <laughs> no, just trying to say, remember uh, Jimmy Carr, she's kind of show, right? Uh, place it sell kebabs, said, try kebabs, you'll never get better. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I no. mean, that's just how, that's just showed he's got too, ma too much money on him, mm. really, to order a curry to be imported, like that's pointless. Put it by the time we got this, it oh, went from McDonald's. Can't be arsed now. <laughs> no. Put it in the fridge, I'll have it later. You say a chef went with him, over there with it. Yeah, he flew. Stick him in the fridge. <laughs> I want to know, is, did, he, did he cook the curry, then send it over the fridge? Did he spit in it there or went up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did he piss in the head? Before or after? After he's eaten it. <laughs> oh, he <laughs> <made> so. <laughs> you to piss on your curry up today. <laughs> okay. This is Indian tradition. Ooh. You can't say that. At least I didn't blame it on anyone in particular. You know, if I may be a thought thinking it. <laughs> It was me! Rich, will you move? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to rock back Better have you got any quotes, Rich? Can't think of any. Alright, do you want to talk about... What about that woman with, who got the speeding ticket and faked her own death? Yeah. Oh god, I've got a speeding ticket. I think I'll hang myself. And How would you do I'm that? Would you, what if she would have embalmed? <laughs> 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 the ticket to the uh, morgue. 
Doctor, hand me my scalpel. Crush her open. <laughs> Oh, oh, she's alive. Pretty you put your own death. I mean, did she just put a wig on and hide in her room for a couple of weeks? No, she just sent in a letter or something. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't wait to do As like, daughter? Yeah. You know, throw a car off a cliff into the sea. They'll find She didn't even do that. Body. She just, like, sent a letter off um, that she signed it as her daughter. And she said. saying that she, she died in a car accident. I think that's all she did. I'm not that sure on the story. Next but week, I think you know, there's a traffic policeman there. And that car that the driver died in. Well, that would be funny. I mean, if I was going to feed my own death, I'd dig up a body, um, take out all my teeth, put them in the dead body's mouth, right? Put it in the car, push it off a cliff. I burn it first, then push it off a cliff. And then, that's how I feed my own death. What about fingerprints? No. You do all that. Would it be, if it'd be in the water for a while? Chris, or you do all that, they get to the morgue, see? It's interesting, it's a woman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, I think, oh, we've had an email of um, a lady called uh, Sophie uh, Sherwin, and uh, she wants us to talk about little kids running around being asses. Well, that's simple, little kids running around being yeah. asses. Specifically at clubs. They do it everywhere, to be honest. I guess my oh. name is little kids. Like, no, I, saw, I saw some kids today, right? Having a having a fag in the ling by your house. That's just, I mean, why? Want to get inside your own house? And they're only little kids. Why? Actually, no, actually six. Uh, well, I don't know if he's six. Looked about. I'd say about six, seven. <laughs> Brown by uh, me. No, just bought a past me and bumped into him. Said, "Fuck off, will you?" You're six. You bought twice. You bumped into him. Yeah, just bumped into him. She said, "Sorry, then." Shouldn't you? <laughs> well, I was going to. He said, "Fuck off, you twat," or something like that. I was like, "You're six. <laughs> Hopefully you got run over by a bus. Teach him a fucking lesson. But yeah, kids are kids are wrong. <laughs> no, you need days. Teachers, police, parents. Is it, is it the ticket. same kid that went up to me and said, "Got a fag"? Don't know. You learned that, John. After you've done that, you probably went to school and stabbed his teacher thanks to you. No, oh, what? Why? Why thanks to John? Yeah. Because he pissed him off. I didn't go <laughs> say, "Oi, go stab your teacher." Oh, my fault, I'm pissed, I'm pretty pissed off anyway. <laughs> Not a drug taking wanker. <laughs> <laughs> Slap it up on heroin. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Six year old. I, I, <laughs> I can't inject heroin, I'm too short. <laughs> like I said, hopefully you got one of the way bus. Yeah, kids are annoying. And they run around Bans. thinking they get on each other's shoulders and play like shoulder wars or whatever you call them. Just kick them off. <laughs> There's nothing, you know, one little kid, but some twat on a mini motorbike almost ran me over. So you are, talking of emails, I had another one, John. Really? <laughs> Do it. Uh, again, of you and your sexy voice. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie, another one, different one. Sophie Wheaton, or whatever name it is, I don't know. She, yeah, she said, uh, mm-hmm. you got a lovely sexy voice. And she wants you to say hello to her in a sexy voice. Hello. So, so, do it. Hello. What? <laughs> How, so, yeah, uh, nice you having a, a sexy voice. Just jealous. I all right. I think we should have a competition. Why? Me and John should say the same sentence sexually as you see and see if people can vote. Sexually. Se- <laughs> and people can vote. People can vote to see. Is that a word? Sexually. I don't know. He doesn't say it like it when he says it. <laughs> I don't know. Sexy. Well, anyway. I think it is. Me, uh, me and John. I think it is, but it doesn't sound it when he says it. Me, sexually. Me, say, it again, say it again. Se- uh, me and, so okay, say it again. Sexually. <laughs> me and John are going to say uh, the Hello. same sentence. I think we've each. established that. Sexually. Richard, can you think of a sentence quickly? I'm horny. No, no, a sentence like a long line, and we'll say it. And, see, and people can vote. Hang on, what's a, a line for me to play? Um. What's that? I got good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. That's for mine. Okay. Right. right. Who's gonna go first? Me. You are. Okay. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You say D. I just gonna say it normally. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Right. You say D. Email in memorex at knit one dot com. Who's se- who's got sexier? Who's who's got sexy back? Whatever. Say it again. <laughs> say, it again. <laughs> say it again. Say it again. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Who's sexier? Now, Rex, knit one, don't you? Scarlet me, John. Thank you. Scarlet me. You just sound plain evil. You just sound like a twat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're listening to The Memorex Show, Golden Age Productions. 
I think it's time for Rich's diary. Yes. Should we do the news first? No. no. Okay. Yeah, ready? ready, ready. Uh, I've on. actually prepared it. Give me some. Give me some <clears throat> backing music. Oh yeah. Give me backing music. It's Richard's diary. Oh. <laughs> right. Okay. okay. Um. Right. Last episode, we were talking about how I hadn't gone into school that day. But he fell up a stairs. <laughs> Shut up. I fell up the stairs from the bottom all the way to the top. <laughs> okay, okay. So anyway, next day, Thursday, um, we had rehearsals in school, and John wasn't in. Hey, yeah. right, you're not putting that on the bloody internet, okay. sunshine. Okay. Cut it. You can okay, I'll talk okay. about it. I'm not talking to you. You're not. It's apart from drama, nothing else. We're we'll talking about really drama happened. then. You had an exam today. I didn't know. <laughs> it's common sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. Did I even call him? Let's do this. Let's do this. I got to choose the bill. Yeah, sunshine. All I heard about Rick it was. Well, I don't know. I like it goes straight from my head. Back to music. Back to music. Did it? Oh, it's Rich's diary. Oh. Don't get back in here, back in laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Richard's diary! <laughs> right, okay then, Richard, go. Anyway, uh, we've been spending most of our time in school, me and John, that is, um, <laughs> rehearsing for our drama exam, which was <laughs> this so Wednesday. Dumb. Today! Just say today! Okay, it was today. But it's just Friday's Wednesday. episode. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's it was two was days ago. ago. It was two days ago. <laughs> exactly. Um, so we were here quite a lot. Um, the exam went quite well, I reckon. A um, couple of prompts, but everybody stayed in character. There was some good improvisation, especially from John. Was it? Yeah. What? Uh, uh, when you said, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I said that anyway, shut up. Yeah. Do you remember that? Well, you're not gonna. Okay. <laughs> okay carry on, Dick. Anyway, uh, but then we saw the Year 13 play and it basically. Made ours look shit. Oh, I intend to have them killed. Uh, anything else you want to add? Uh, no, because what else I was going to right, say right. doesn't want me to. You told me earlier you actually... Right, okay, okay. That was his diary! Ow! Oh, that was piercing. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's done on the one as a ring. I'm glad I'm not sat next to him. Two ninety nine from all good Tesco stores. <laughs> Why do you get uh, a ring tone in I Tesco's? <laughs> <coughs> I'd like a ring tone, please. <laughs> but, um, oh, no, no, just barcode it. <laughs> Yeah. You gonna say something? Is it time for the news? No, it's not. I want to talk about superheroes. Oh God. Now, most people watch Superman, Spider-Man, but I want to know: with evolution, would there ever be a Superman? That is a not in the good sense you mean, point. though. What? So it wouldn't be Superman then, would it? Because it'd be more and more of them. Like, so it'd become normal. You know that show we were talking about earlier? Yeah. Heroes. Yeah. It's on Sci-Fi at the moment. Americans. A bit further ahead like, of us because like, it is an American show. It's like X Men. They're mutations. I mean, mutations do exist, but they're usually freaks like Richard. So Evolution. With mutations, I doubt you'd be able to control the weather or, you know, kind of yeah, move nothing, things with your mind. Maybe, and stuff maybe like, like well, people can maybe, generate maybe, maybe, cell regeneration, maybe. maybe. Yeah. So, uh, like Wolverine, um, be able to regenerate yourself continuously. But I doubt you'd be able to go, oh, it's raining, let's have a bit of sun. Work on my tan. Click your fingers and do it. Well, do all these kind of dramatic poses. What do we have to do? Go. Yeah. Or just have to think it. Then the Cheers. Mac Mac kind of, you know, do that funny kind of pose, moving the bridge, and he just stands there and goes. There we go. Moved it. Just have a quick think. Moved yeah. it. It's like that. The it's stuff like it's cell regeneration um, and stuff like that. Um, I'd have become normality after a while. I probably wouldn't it. Probably. When, or they get know, put in a lab in America and poked for the rest of their life. <laughs> but someday we'll reach a point in evolution where, you know, it's going to be... Well, don't you think sort of we've reached our... I don't think, no, Do you reckon we've I don't think warming? any species Do you will think ever stop evolving. Do you think global warming and that? Do you reckon we'll get immune to the sun? Well, maybe, so, so, well, no, just like you have say, some species that evolve to we, adapt we can, no, so colder we can resist the heat from the sun. Sort of thing happening over thousands of years, then... You might start adapting to it. Well, yeah, we'd adapt, but yeah. then once the sun died, we'd either blow up yeah. with it, or we'd be freezing cold and die anyway. It'd implode. Yeah, it expands and back in. Sucks everything back in. With well, imagine, imagine Apparently, that. there's no such thing as a black hole. I don't know how true this is, but it's not a hole in space as such. Yeah, it's a big clock that's black and sucks everything in onto it. Mm. Like a giant magnet. 
Pretty much, yeah. I think it keeps it expanding, doesn't it? So, so why do you order black gold? How do you know that? Do you go, hold on, Bob. Let's land over there. <laughs> 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 I've had a piece of string on the earth just doing our way back. Well, they, have, they do have, they must have ways, you know, like perhaps... Send a probe, it, send a little shuttle. Or, or maybe not even that, maybe like scanning certain... Uh, the, uh, the way they do look at things millions of miles away at the moment, so they get a telescope, a big human this one, and go... Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Actually, they use satellite telescopes as well, I'm not sure that works, kind of like bounces rays or some ultraviolet <laughs> shit out. <laughs> and it comes back and Ultra build a picture shit. from it and stuff. So, you know, yeah, that's a good way to do it. Send kind of um, UV rays or something out there. If they don't come back, there's a hole there. <laughs> yeah. Or, you haven't waited long enough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could, like, you send them out six billion years later, some guy, what's that beeping saying on that computer over there? Reminds me of, um, <laughs> mind you, like, uh, different dimensions. I mean, if you go into a black hole, would you go into a different dimension where we'd all yeah, got to I, I reckon that's just a overly cliche sci-fi. They say that, no, they say like, that, don't they? There's an unlimited amount of dimensions where somewhere there'll be a Richard with a cock on his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's this one, that's this one, that's this one. Sorry, uh -huh. there'll be a Richard with a cock. That's all that, isn't it? There'll be a Richard somewhere, somewhere be a who's normal. I got a cock. And there'll be a Tristan somewhere that isn't as thick as you. <laughs> so so then as thick as me? Yeah. No. And there'll be a tactful John somewhere. Yes. Do you, <laughs> like, do you think... No, I just reckon that's an overly cliche sci-fi type Why? Thing. How do you know? At least the black holes, anyway. We're never going to know, to be honest. I don't mean, go, like no, I don't mean go for a black hole. I mean, right. do you reckon, like, there'll be... Oh, I don't know. I, could be. Who knows? Um, never, probably never one theory know. that I've sort of thought about before is time dimensions. Like, a different dimension for every single n nanosecond or whatever that passes. And that's how time travel might work. You know, because travel to Mars. Instead of travelling like to another time, it's sort of like travelling between dimensions mm. where it's 50 years ago. Yeah. I know of um, the thing that if you, when you see like stars explode in space with a telescope, um, you're yeah, actually seeing it explode a million years, years ago because that's how fast it takes light to travel. Or long it takes, not how fast it takes. <laughs> well, you also paid attention in English, didn't you? <laughs> how fast it takes to explode. But you know, like, um, um, uh, what was I saying? You want to make the stars exploding? Yeah, like, about, you know, that's kind of time travel, isn't it? Because you can see it. Well, not really, it's just taking us, it, the light to that yeah. point to reach us. What if it's like a little alien bloke watching us? And you see him as like a million years ago. So it's not like time travel, is it? Cause if you can't no, see it's it, just like um, say I phoned you, and it takes. When it's like, I hit it's, here, I there. Like Australia is like time travel. It's like on the internet. <laughs> yeah, but like go on, say, more, say, but... say say we're like you got like a teleport device, and we can travel to Australia instantly. That's kind of like time travel. No, no, that's it's still be the same time. Yeah, right? it won't be because it'll be like the day before there. Yeah. That's not exactly no, time it's just travel. it's di just the day of the week or the time of the day is still universally the same time. Yeah, that's just regional time. So yeah, that, cause, uh, like say everyone ran on GMT, which is what Britain runs on. Then they'd wake up like that's sort of midnight. Petrol. No GMT Greenwich Mean Time. time right? yeah. no, then Australians would wake up at midnight, and in New York they'd wake up. Say you wake up at eight o'clock in New York, that would be a bit. Well, what, 3 in the morning, wouldn't it? Mm. And if you're in LA, right. that would be about 11 in the evening, morning then. For them. But basically, no. <laughs> it's, it wouldn't be like time That's what time it would be. Do you reckon it... Oh no, I was talking of, talking of like, dimensions in the universe. Do you remember my theory about... No, I don't. Do you think the universe is ever... Ex is just unlimited? Or do you reckon there'll be a, a bit where you just, like, hit the side, like a big black box? Who knows? Hmm. Do you reckon? I think it's. Your thought? Do you know the universe is the only thing that exists as far as we know? You no. Know? What do you mean? Well, we there's, there's nothing outside the universe that we know of. Yeah, for all we know, it could be like, like um. No, don't go for, into the for all we knows. Do you ever thought if there's no universe, what the hell is there? Nothing. Yeah. What's the universe in? Where does it come from? Exactly. It's weird. Like in Men in Black, where the, the universe the is in. Like... Door. Yeah. It's kind of a galaxy Locker. in there. The galaxies in like a marble. Yeah, somewhere along the line of all these, if we're in another, if our universe is in a bigger one, and that's in a bigger one, where's that end? It's got to end somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. It'll just keep going forever and ever. I was always thinking, like, you know, like our little cells on our bodies, like yeah. here. Do you reckon they're like little, little 
universes. Could be. This could all be a dream. Joe, Joe, this. Nah. Yeah. What, what's that famous bloke? That quote. I I know. I dream. Not I'm about because I dream. Is it Nietzsche or he said that? I don't know. He questioned his own existence. Something like, I know I'm. I know I exist because I dream. Something like that. Because he has a subconscious and he can think. He, he knows there is life. Otherwise, he would be nothing. Yeah, whatever. Something like that. I want to go to global warming now. Random. No, this is the news, or? No, you mentioned it earlier. No, it's oh, yeah. Reminded yeah. Me something about. Do you know what? I've recently heard something. 150 years, it's going to get more impossible for us to live. So, why would we care? We'd be dead. Yeah, you said this before. Yeah. Our children, you know, grandchildren. Bugger the children, I'm dead. Yeah, but if you actually had children yourself. Bugger them, you... I'm dead. Well, that's how you'd feel, but you're yeah, like but a what's the point? That's kids. It's not going to affect us either way, is it? No, I'm saying if we had no, children, well, wouldn't you? Well, then I'd end up in heaven if it was such a place or something <laughs> or whatever, or that they wouldn't know any better. So it's not like there's going to be internal damage. The point people say that. But while they were alive, you know. The point if is, if it's hard chop to... your head off or shoot yourself or something. The point of people saying that means that uh, if we act now, as the world is now, we can save the lives of our ancestors, that's what they're saying, so we might as well act now. Couldn't do a toss bit. Our ancestors. <laughs> Aren't they like the people yeah. before us, well, not so after us? us. I was, uh, descendants. Yes, that's the word, descendants. descendants. <laughs> 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 Uh, that's it, evolution. Oh. I I reckon, I reckon. Get on with it. If there was no land or sea, just cloud, and we lived on clouds, do you reckon like? What? Um, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Cloud. You, there were, no, if there's no sea, there'd be no clouds. How old are you, Tristan? Because clouds are formed from the sea. Yeah, that's the water. As well. Dude, uh, what? what? What do you mean formed from the sea? In Tristan's cycle. world, people Shh. can walk on clouds. Hang on a minute, right? Clouds are made of a water that's been evaporated from the sea and the rivers and stuff. So if there's no sea, that means there's no rivers or oceans. There's no water to be clouds. Right. If, there, if there was no land but sea and clouds, <laughs> there wouldn't be so, the sea. So we <laughs> not on clouds. <laughs> you, twat, you haven't thought this through, have you? Can you live on clouds? <laughs> you just stand on it. You go poof straight in the middle. Eh? It's not like I've like very, very well. seen heaven angels yeah. on clouds. I don't have his angels on clouds because they'd probably fall through. <laughs> or yeah. why, if you're an angel and you can float, why would you always stand on clouds? <laughs> <laughs> Tristan's been watching too many children's programs. Yeah. <laughs> you watched that Budweiser ad, uh, not Budweiser, um, what's it, Red, Red Bull. Bull advert too many times? That woman sitting on a cloud. Red Bull gives you wings. <laughs> so you fly. I've tried it. Clouds. It's shit. It doesn't give you wings. I want my money back. <laughs> Yeah, he's got broken False advertising. <laughs> <laughs> False advertising. I was thinking of something now. Of a great importance. What happened to your challenge, Tristan? Oh, uh, yeah. I forgot that. How did that go? I tried it, but I can't stay in my room. I had things to do. So, is that a forfeit then? Yes. <laughs> ah. John's already prepared one. Right. Explain the rules. <clears throat> no, you, I told you beforehand you can't back out of this. You have to do it. I've forgotten what it is now. <laughs> you are so, like... Explain the rules. Yeah. Well, basically, if you didn't do a challenge, you've got to do a forfeit. Which, you, which I have to do, I can't There's no out. way out of it. What can Tristan do as a forfeit? Something to eat. Make him eat something. Let's yeah. start again. It looks quite what hungry. can I do as an interesting challenge? Memorex at nit1.com. Email in, and we'll have a read and we'll sort one out. you got till Monday, or no, we'll be doing the next show. Right, you have till a week. Saturday, we're doing no. the next show. Do the next show Saturday. You have no. Let's be a bit longer. You have You've till. Been this will be up on Friday. You have till. You have till Wednesday. Yeah, okay. You have till Wednesday to email in and give me a good challenge. Okay, do you reckon it's time? Well, I've been up a <laughs> It's the news. You've done that enough already, though. The news, John. Time well, for the news. Uh, Did you ready? Ready? Oh, it's news. Do that over the top of the room. That really gets cut. Can you can really hear it, Sarah? Can I do it again? No. Do it over there. Oh, it's news. Oh! Right, go on, John. News time, time. So, today's news shoplifters will be let off if they apologise. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'll just shoplift from this bank. Let me just steal this kind of, you know, truck full of uh, de a delivery truck. Yeah, hold on. Walk it. Apologise, or you're going in. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, right? Then get that truck out of here. What I would do is I'd still. No, hold on. Walk into Londis. I'm just shoplifting this cash register. <laughs> Well, I, well, I want to do theft, not shoplifting. Do you, is different. Do you know what I do? Well, like, I think I can. Yeah. Do you know what I do? I'll shoplift, shoplift, hide it in the bush, and go back in and apologise. <laughs> <laughs> do we have to apologise if you're caught? Yeah. That's what's yeah. What's the point of doing that? Just go in, right? Shoplift. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you're admitting to it, are you? <laughs> I would have to call the police. You give you a kick in there and then. Yeah. No, that's say, a bit. Bang him up for six months. <laughs> bang them up. Yeah, lock them up. I think they're bang them. <laughs> no. <laughs> Six months of rape, non stop. <laughs> like 24 hours a day. There'll be blood and shit on the walls. They're no, like bang me and shit. No one will ever, ever commit a crime again. <laughs> <laughs> no, Trash is the first person caught like, from shoplifting for that. Right? Six months of rape by Richard Sharp. <laughs> Suddenly on the news next day, crime falls by 100%. <laughs> All speeding tickets paid in two hours. <laughs> Prisoners handed, we the the criminals handed themselves in. <laughs> what, does he want? <laughs> does he want to Richard Yeah. Oh, damn, that was, yeah. <laughs> Criminals hand themselves in for lesser sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Two months rape. <laughs> I guess if, if was you threw Sam McKenzie in. Oh, you know. I was thinking they would die. Was that it? Are you done with the news? No, I'm not. Go on, then. carry on. That was the news. Oh, that was the news! Alright, I was thinking the other day. Uh, <laughs> Kill that again. <laughs> <laughs> again, again, go on. <laughs> <laughs> it looks even better if you could sit. You do the deeper version. I can't. Do it, not. it's funny. No, I'll do it in a minute after I'm calm down. <laughs> 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 if you got like dogs, yes. don't they have human faces? <laughs> no, you yeah, <laughs> the long snout and the sharper teeth. <laughs> But about their eyes, they've got human eyes. But their eyes are generally the same. Yeah. There's not much variation, it's there. In any animal, But you look really. at a dog and you think, God, he looks almost human. <laughs> I can imagine my you dog in a suit. That, but... Yeah, he's probably sitting there thinking, God, he looks almost dog. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said to him. Well, actually, he's probably sitting there thinking, God, he looks dog human faces, so humans with dogs' faces. Yeah. What? Is it humans Monkeys... with dogs? No. Uh -huh. <laughs> Shut up, Richard. Do dogs have human-like faces, or do humans have dog-like faces? Neither, really. What else can we talk about? Old do you think it's funny? Because John's actually sat here in a suit. I know he did it. He had I'm to not wear really it. in a suit, he's got my jacket on. You're in a suit. Suit minus jacket, a smart trousers. No shit. You're in a suit, minus a tie. Yeah, I wore it exam, didn't I? Dress. I know, but do you always think of, see it for, it's quite funny when you see men who always wear a suit? I think it's funny, like, right. they're not businessmen, they're like... So they're just like dressing smartly or something like that. So they were always in a suit. <laughs> when you I go swimming, what are you going to wear? Suit? <laughs> <laughs> Take my tie off, of course. <laughs> I don't know, I need to see some guy swimming by in a suit, right? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing wearing <laughs> trunks, you twat? You're in a suit. It's a business pool. <laughs> business pool, you just people in suits. <laughs> oh, fuck. Third day briefcases. <laughs> They got like floating laptops. Yeah. And fax machines connected to the side of the pool. We're just talking about other garbage now. Random. I'm talking about you. Richard was eating a eating a sausage sandwich early and he stuffed most of it in a hole. It was a hot oh, dog, Tristan. That was, that's just disgusting, I didn't even see it. Jack, can we still leave it there? Yes, let's. Okay, so I think that's pretty much the end of the episode. Hi. Goodbye from me, Tristy Poo. <laughs> what the? Tristy Poo, how are you? <laughs> hey, Tristy Poo. Nice to meet you. So, as you think, that's goodbye from Tristy Poo. <laughs> Goodbye from Ricky Poo. And goodbye from John. <laughs> <laughs> that was the Memorex Show.